back with you for another devlog uh number 22 is gonna be covering a few topics starting with the global inventory getting into crates remade from the ground up and then going into movement speed and waypoints uh at the end of the video i'm going to be talking to you guys about kind of where the update's at and if we're going to be meeting a quarter one release date um so yeah jump around if you wish chapters uh on youtube at the bottom of the screen jump around if you wish uh, if you watch the whole thing thank you though all right so we're here in game what how are we transferring uh inventories well we had a few ideas but the one we ended up settling on was i think the most interesting so to get a few things out of the way you're going to be able to type a command to open it you're going to be able to open it in the inventory right here and most interestingly you're going to be able to open it right here you might notice that uh that looks a lot like the inner chest it is uh that's on purpose and because we didn't have time to make a texture to get into that does the ender chest exist no um we're gonna talk about that in one second and i'll show you um first off you're not losing any ender chest items right away we didn't just delete it um but this is what the global chest looks like okay so i have some things in here i'll go ahead and take those out for you guys there's a lot to talk about here right off the bat there's tabs there's a trash can there for some reason we're getting to that of course um i'm gonna show you guys what the ender chest looks like Alrighty, so to show you guys a, another way of accessing the global chest, um, I have went ahead and given myself some ender chest data so that this is all of you logging in. This is what you'll see if you go to this ender chest or for this case, I'll open it from here. So I'll click open global chest. You can do this in your inventory. Um, it opens here. I have some different stuff because I loaded some other data, but you see this very, very annoying and obvious prompt that's telling you, click this button to claim your ender chest items. What does that do? Well, if you have enough space, it just gives you your old ender chest items. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's effectively it. So this replaces the ender chest and any ender chest items you have, you can claim to your inventory. They don't go to the global chest just because you probably wouldn't have enough space being that this tab is that size we're going to get into kind of the size of the global chest in a little bit um but you know there's four global chests or sorry four ender chests on us one two three and eu one so we wanted to kind of merge those and make a so there's not so many systems there is still the bank um which is a pretty much kind of what the ender chest is it's a storage on each server a, a bigger storage at that but now you won't have the ender chest along with the global chest the global chest of course connects to all the servers which i'll show you that in action here shortly but i want to talk about the tabs so you notice tab number one here uh there's tab number two there's the potential for tons more tabs um those of you who played dragon black apollo back in the beta back before 2020 uh well remember player vaults this is pretty reminiscent of that um ironically this was not the intention this was kind of just a ended up happening we we got planning and then we're like ooh, tabs replacing the energy all these kind of things and I, i'm very happy with how it turned out thus far um being able to just go between these tabs uh, they're obviously mind the fact they look very similar that's just how i set arrange them um but yeah so you're gonna have these multiple tabs which will allow you to um store more items uh tab two at this time is available for donors legend plus so pretty much most of the donor ranks uh, most of the higher ones um there will probably be more tabs in the future i do want to also talk about kind of the size of the inventory um so this is the size of the ender chest at the moment however in the future we are considering not set in stone i want to say um allowing you guys to upgrade it with in-game zenny so totally free uh, and that would apply to donor too so you could upgrade tab one and two independently um you would just need to unlock tab two at that point as a donor um and then like eventual other tabs maybe there will be some zenny tabs things like that all right so now to demonstrate the main appeal here server inventory transfer how does that work i'm not going to cut this clip so that you guys can see me connecting to another server and loading up the inventory this very inventory um so without further ado let's do that so obviously the main appeal is spinning animals on the main menu uh but beside that really we're gonna just be it's gonna let you guys move your armor sets from us2 to us1 if you play there all those kind of things were on the test server now you can go ahead and run slash g chest or global chest same kind of commands as ender chest used to have as you can see i got my little inventory here 
So let's go ahead and toss some um, random items, whatever I click, uh, just toss them in right there in tab two. Let's go ahead and move that to that slot. Go back to main menu into personal testing server, which is my local testing server. It's faster. Data loading prevents um kind of like how character slots it will prevent you from modifying it it loads it's not part of character slots but it loads at the same time so it takes five seconds it loads um it auto saves every few minutes uh things like that so there you go you guys can see pretty much right there that's that's that um not really much else to talk about you just move stuff it's an ender chest connected to all the servers we're going to talk about the trash bin now uh this is literally just slash trash it's Slash trash, except uh, I removed the plugin and just put it in the mod now because it's, it's just an empty container. It's the same screen as the global chest. It just doesn't save anything. So if we had a special item here, okay? So, well, um, better yet, let's get like a grass block so I can show, okay? Close trash. It's gone. Why is there a confirm button then? Well, you don't want to throw in 640 million TP and accidentally delete it, do you? So you can't close, you can't click these buttons, you can't close it at all unless you take it out and then you're good. But until then, you have to click confirm trash bin deletion, uh, item deletion, so then it will do it. Uh, just an extra click. If you guys have any suggestions, do let me know. This was coded very quickly the last few days. So if you have um, any input on that, let me know. Uh, if you think the confirmation is um silly i mean you're wrong but <laughs> let me know what you think um mind you as i showed the grass block gets deleted it's pretty much every apollo item ever uh, dragon blocks those kind of things won't be deleted uh without confirmation just to confirm that you really want to do that so we're back on the test server i'm just gonna show the global chest again why not um we're gonna do warp crates or better yet we'll just walk over there a little bit of movement speed action as you can see crates you use your crate tokens and keys here cool so we'll go down this hallway if you warp you spawn right down here information bot there just be a little bot there that gives you a little bit of information uh yeah so this area was designed by hercule and i believe Adi might have um our newer builder Adi. i don't know how to say the name sorry Adi, but audile volatile something that's on screen probably uh yeah so they worked together on crates in general and yeah so shout out them for the builds and all of that fun stuff um, there's a lot of scaling stuff to talk about with crates. There's a lot of a lot of stuff So you guys could see around here Saiyan Saga Battle of Gods around the outside of Z Saga Saiyan Namek Android Cell Bobbity Boo Bibbity uh, It doesn't exist vote crate and golden vote crate here in their own little shiny areas and then jolly spook Not the vote crate. This is the event crate for the generic event i um not done yet upcoming super sagas for future super sagas of course universe six saga universe revival of frieza saga that's not a universe uh battle of god saga so what's going on go in here and open some crate keys but don't actually go in there because that'd be kind of boring so we're at this new area saiyan saga crate zone as you can see at the top what is that so um i'll look around a little bit the the low tier is right there but we're gonna look around a little bit enjoy the build and the nuance of it it's a weird word to use for this but i also make sure i have waypoints on because the reason the waypoints were coded after all if you guys might have seen feature highlight three i think um waypoints are a nice little on-screen indication which can be turned off literally via a key bind uh, as well as a bunch of config for whatever um, You could see where all they where all of them are because coming into this area for the first time It might be a little annoying to find things so we could look around There's a lot of things, but we're not gonna worry about that too much low tier mid tier high tier and god tier Let's go check out the low tier. All right. This will be actually mm, Let's actually do the high tier. It's an interesting area. So we're down here. Let's go ahead and open some crates so we're gonna go ahead and actually just open it first so we can see it's a new model munchkin modeled that and textured it put a lot of work into the wood grain detail he was drawing every individual panel he copy pasted some of them though so don't let him get away with that um comment telling him how silly that is that he copy pasted so much of it and he's lazy he's very lazy anyway uh press m2 or m1 to open the crate menu little indication there so i want to left click it a lot of things right off the bat there's a lot of things okay so 
click to open there's crate keys up here we're gonna talk about all of that um i'm not in the namek saga despite this thing lying i'm in the saiyan saga so a couple things the background is based on the zone you're in so that will be giving you a look at kind of it's it's just pretty it's a it's a nice touch i don't know anyway there's buttons on the side there's things down here this is the contents of the crate that's a little spoiler anyway the contents of the crate ordered from highest rarity highest chance to lowest chance right so this is the lowest five percent ten percent etc um yeah so uh, what's in the crates for the most part hasn't changed the biggest change we're going to talk about scaling kind of before we look at how it looks so if you want to skip the scaling you probably shouldn't but you could so we're gonna let, let's look at the tp tp amount you'll receive that's how much you're gonna get period that number right there is how much you'll get that thing needs a comma i'm obsessed about number i hate when i'm playing a game and it's like 10 million and there's no commas in it very upsetting um anyway tp reward range 350 to 1500 your rewards will be calculated based on your pro progress in the saga so i have a 40 percent chance to roll this tp which will then give me an amount of tp depending on my progression so this is saiyan saga if i am on quest zero i just joined the game i will get 350 tp simple if i've beat it like i beat the entire story right now it's giving me 1500 so basically instead of giving two arbitrary values that are finite that never change making the way i've explained it to many people is when you get to a crate zone it's really good because you're getting tons of tp for your level and then you open like 30 crates and you're like this sucks i've already leveled up a thousand times and yeah so anyway this is going to give you uh, not TP based on your level or anything like that, but TP based on how far you are in progression. So if you've completely beat the Saiyan Saga, you're getting the most out of it. Obviously, you'd want to go to the Namek Saga crate at that point. In case you didn't notice, um, it's not the old level ranges. They're now quest ranges. I, I didn't mention that. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, once you beat the Saiyan Saga, you unlock the Namek Saga crate zone. Once you beat Namek, you get Android and so on and so forth. Basically... You can go to any crate zone and take advantage of it now instead of kind of like teetering. Oh, let me save all my crate keys for the next zone. I mean, that, that still might be worth it. It's up for you to figure out. Anyway, though, uh, this scaling is going to provide a lot better um, TP gain. Uh, not necessarily better, but more more, more fair, more better fair. <laughs> uh, more better balanced, really, to where you are in the story. You shouldn't be at the beginning of the Saiyan Saga zone getting 1500. And at the end, you shouldn't be getting 350. Hope that kind of makes sense. The rest of it is just pretty simple items here. You can see how that looks. So yeah, let's let's stop yapping, even though that was important, and get into kind of what's going on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself some tokens, just some high tiers. Here's a stack, you know, spawn them in. So there's buttons over here. Click to convert your crate tokens to keys, or click to convert your crate keys to co tokens. Jeez, that was a lot. So I click that, you don't have any keys to convert, because I don't. Um, if I click this, okay, we're back. Um, that was awkward. Uh, what that was supposed to be doing instead of giving me a five hour cooldown, um, was converting 64 crate tokens to keys, which you can see in my hot bar there. I have 64 crate keys. Um, the message up there will update. I wasn't finished with it yet. Um, clearly, right? That's supposed to be 20 second cool. There's a 20 second cooldown for you clicking the convert button so mind the hour cooldown that's anyway getting into how it actually looks to open uh you can click to open without a crate key uh just to show you that let's throw that stack of crate keys on the ground so click to open is purely just giving you the prompt which we're gonna get into that in a minute. let me actually get some crate keys though um quantity you can open more than one crate key um when i was recoding this mind you we just deleted the crate plugin because we're like Working with a plugin on a mod is hard, to say the least. Um, it's pretty much coded from the ground up using, I mean, we have tons of systems to give things, and we got the RNG in plenty of places for this to exist. Point is, crates have been totally recoded. Um, but you can now open quantity, because I feel like that was an important thing to do, adding quality of life stuff to crates. Um, so you can, let's open X1 for right now okay we're back sorry about that forgot to have desktop audio on for you folks to hear um i'm gonna shut up
Let's go. We got a guy voucher. That'll be fixed, of course. But point is, you see a nice little reward pop up. You get the actual item, and it gives you a nice shiny. Congratulations. I'm lying to you. Because uh, it's telling me I got a god tier key. I'd be quite upset in this situation. That'll be fixed, though, of course. I'm just taking the piss. Um, you won god tier crate key times two. So it tells you what you won. But let's spin again. Uh, let's do times one again. But we can click skip opening. We're going to go ahead and click skip opening. I didn't crash this time. But you skip the opening. Uh, by the way, TP still goes to the stat sheet. Wanted to mention that. But if you skip opening, you totally just skip it and get the reward instantly. So I can just boop. You won. Great. So you can wrap it open them. Or you just say, let's open four. This is how this looks. Congratulations, you won various rewards. And it throws them all on the side of your screen. Yeah, so very happy with this. This was something that Kat pretty much suggested. She had a way more complicated idea, but this is kind of the shortened, simplified version because this was like one of the last things added to crates, really. I was like, um, I need multi-spinning to not look bad and also not do the normal spin where it's like the roulette and then just give you four items because that would be silly. Anyway, let's open freaking 16 items, okay? So it does a cute little animation. I don't even know if I showed those. Let me show those after this, but it rapid fires through these things. Alrighty then. Oh, uh, great. So we got a bunch of things uh, and then it says and eight more since it can't fit them all on this list. So once that's gone, it will boop, update that. So yeah, um, great. So let's look at some of these other animations. You got the open, you got the open it's gonna do that a lot of the time you have to spin up come down and so that's neat i can do either of those also it can convert crate keys back to tokens in the menu one thing i well mentioned though um these uh they don't drop tokens anymore they drop keys just to make it a little bit easier on you you could still convert them though so here we are at the god tier crate i have a few god tier keys for my openings let's just go ahead and click boop so the the glow the color shinies here are based on the rarity of the item you get as you can see it's it's a rarity rare so it's blue and it glows like that um the purple here is based on the god tier crate so that's just a little bit of ambiance before it actually starts spinning there will be a trader here to trade your tier uh keys to from key to token to token to key etc i have namek and android ready to demonstrate for you folks walk in here and we head to namek namek is a larger zone than saiyan saga so right here is the low tier crate um again hercule and adi built this and did a wonderful job so we got low tier there uh it's android okay it's just one <laughs> ahead of the saga we're at cool you can see the waypoints those will help you get around but let's go ahead and head over to the to the mid tier zone right here boom mid tier crate let's go ahead and get some mid tier keys more than one open bam you can see this different tp range each zone um also disclaimer for scaling it's obviously not final the numbers you see could be completely fake numbers for the video or they could just change before the video comes out both result in don't tr care about the numbers any hoosers uh yeah they're gonna be different per tier crate so higher tier will always give more pretty much um uh, as well as they're still gonna do the zone things the zones have different ranges as you can see here, 1,800 to 7,000. Again, I've totally beat the Namek Saga. Uh, for the sake of it, though, let me set myself to having not beat the Namek Saga. Anyway, I have completed the Saiyan Saga. I am able to come into the Namek Saga zone and see that I get the bottom of the requirements. So let's go ahead and beat a few quests in the Namek Saga. Let's do up to SQ207 halfway. So there we are. And as you guys can see, I'm getting 40, 20. I've beat 42% of the quest line. 6 out of 14 as you progress through the quest it will tell you how much tp you're going to get from it so that's nice anyway this is what the god tier zone looks like just a little bit of furnished uh, guru's house here and we're gonna go to a uh, little capsule corp ship 
So high tier zone here. And let's go ahead and head to the final crate zone that I'll be showing you folks today. Mind you, there is, what, nine uh, with the six Z sagas and the three super sagas. There's nine zones. I won't be showing all those. those you'll have to wait until the update comes out, of course. But you can go ahead and head to the Android saga here. So we get teleported here. Same thing, really. Um, these, this is the Android Saga, and yeah, um, pretty well lit. Um, this one's, this one's a real small one, because it's just Jero's lab in this little mountainous area here with the road behind it, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the crates. Let's talk about how movement speed used to be calculated. It was like dex stab, but it would only really affect it at 100k anything below that was useless anyway we could have fixed that but we honestly felt that the whole stats affecting movement speed thing was kind of nonsense i feel like that's not really something you want to be leveling stats for to be faster it should just kind of be a part of the game you know forms and things like that excuse me can contribute to it but they should by no means be the defining reason you're leveling energy for movement speed or flight speed apologies this is my face after recording the entire movement section without recording uh i need that movement speed 162.5 okay that's cool i'm in turbo if i turn off turbo i'm a lot slower i'm 25 percent faster with turbo on so for the sake of this let's keep turbo on because most of you will 162 we are quite zoomy you know we're, we move pretty quick uh but let's go into super saiyan let's see how fast we are then instant ascend it's a beautiful feature um we are 268 that's a big difference um the way I like to explain it is the forms, the first form you ever go into is gonna like it's a big boost, but then it's just kind of like from there, you know, because we don't want it to be completely unreasonable. I'll show flight speed in a little bit in the fastest form, uh, just once we're done going through uh, movement speed. So Super Saiyan 2, we're gonna go up a little bit there, as I said, smaller increases and in higher forms. Um, so we are 287.5. We go down a little bit. It's Super Saiyan 3. It's still stronger, so it's fast but it's a little bit slower. I know there's a big thing there in the anime where like two is the faster one, but I'm not really worried about that nuance. I will also mention that alt forms make you faster and have some uh, different nuance there, like half Saiyan alt forms a little bit slower than full Saiyan, those kind of things. I'm not gonna show that now. Uh, that'll be for you guys to experience when it comes out. But there is some nuance like that. I will say that we do, however, want to add a little bit more of that in the future, make a little bit more in-depth of the movement system. But let us know how you feel about it. First off, before we do all of that, we wanted to not make it a huge part of this update, but it's a part of the update that I feel like is important. Because every time I go on the live server and move around a little bit, like do like any of the trainings, I'm just like slowly flying. Like here's a clip. It's, it's, it's awful. I mean... We should have done movement speed a little while ago. So sorry for that, but I hope this makes up for it. Anyway, 281 going to God, 306. So as you can see, we are schmoving. Um, but let's go blue. I believe blue is second fastest. 308, 318, excuse me. Um four. 331 percent running speed who look at us go um so yeah i move very fast uh but let's not stop there i know i said i wasn't really going to show the nuances of like alternate forms but i'm going to show kyle ken because it's cool so 318 how about 350 right kyle ken blue so look how fast we're running first off if i turn off turbo quite a lot slower 70 percent slower it's nuts anyway how fast do i fly quite fast um qu quite quick but there's a part of flying right so flying isn't affected by turbo but you know what it is affected by Neom. <laughs> look at me go zooming through the skies little einstein but yeah so you're very fast now um comparison of this to the live server is pitiful the live server you move very slow either way it's faster movement speeds faster and forms affect it reasonably okay because forms pretty much never did anything uh as far as i'm aware especially our custom ones like primal probably did nothing to movement speed which was just like one of those things that we just weren't messing with it at the time getting into waypoints the first waypoint you'll notice if they're on 
Um, they, they're on by default. Uh, is these, the portal waypoints, which in fact just direct you to the portals if you don't want to type the commands that spawn. Getting into the test server, we're going to talk about waypoints around the center, uh, all those kind of things. So, a lot here. A uh, little waypoint just pointing to pretty much every little shop here. Food shop, blacksmith, voucher shop, zenny shop, um, those little converters, the crates over there, the dragon shrine. I'm not going to go look at all of them. You guys, you folks know what they look like. Um, the mall, no, sorry, the bank and the mall. And then all the way over there, you can see it. I can the technique at least, uh, technique place. Uh, anyway, there's one on primal training and Wii's training. Uh, one thing I'll mention, uh, Z-Soul guys, they're not gone. Uh, I'll get to that in one moment, they're over there. But a little quest icons here. So pretty much just way, the whole point of waypoints was inten intentionally started initially, that's the word, started as a way to be like, the crate's over there, bud, don't get lost, right? So. I pointed totally off screen. You couldn't see that. Maybe you need a waypoint for my hand anyway. Uh, so they've evolved into, oh, okay, let's put them on quests. Oh, let's put them at spawn, things like that. Um, so if we go to this area here, you guys can see there's a waypoint on Goku, the quest giver. You gotta, gotta render him first. So you, if you're spawning like over here. So for the folks, that have seen the dragon radar video you'll know the dragon radar is prettier now however you can see the dragon ball there this wasn't shown in the video i added it the same day you guys can see the little arrow right there indicating where it's at but waypoints double as a way to see dragon balls dragon blocks whenever they're um whenever you have the radar out and they're within range so if you don't they're still like that you could play hard mode I will also mention there's a lot of config for these. So if I go right there, waypoint position and scale, you could just totally change how they look. You can move them and, and pretty much any kind of thing like that. You can turn all of these off. There's, these are all the types of waypoints. So you can be like, I don't want to see dragon blocks at all with the radar. I want to use the radar. It's totally fair. Excuse me. You can do all of that basically is my point. I want you guys to have as much customization as possible on this game mod pack thing. I want it to be yours at the end of the day. Um, I want you guys to be able to do everything you can to make yourself feel happy with the game. Go ahead and show warp forms, which is now where you do all of your Z soul stuff. Kind of just makes sense, doesn't it? Not being in spawn with the other 20 traders. How about put them somewhere else? Anyway, so here you got Dr. Zero, you got Android 21. There's an Android theme, clearly. Um, anyway, yeah. So, yeah. You can kind of trade them all about here. Um, if I have waypoints on, you guys can see Saiyan, Namek, Human, Majin, and Arcosian. So there's a trader for each guy, and then you unlock your forms with me. So the Wii's training waypoints. Um, these only show, so Whis himself will have a waypoint. However, if I start a task here, all right, here we are with the actual task. As you guys can see, there's waypoints on all the things I need to get, making it uh, infinitely easier. Speaking of, let's go ahead and jump into blue so I can move kind of quick, you know, get to these ingredients fast. Anyway, yeah, that's special training waypoint. Uh, hello, there's no longer gonna be talk about the update at the end of the video, however, there will be a video uploaded in 24 hours from this one. I don't know what time this will be uploaded. I'm still editing it, but point is there'll be a video entirely dedicated to where's the update, what's going on, talking about the quarter one release estimate and all of those kind of things. Uh, so that'll be uploaded tomorrow, 24 hours from this one being uploaded. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, I just really didn't want to cram an extra 10 minutes or so at the end of this video. Uh, it's already like 30 minutes. So yeah. See you guys there. Thank you for watching this. Peace out.